Hey everyone, I'm the Canadian Lad, and today I'm gonna give you some verified huge, huge spoilers from Spider-Man No Way Home. And then I'll give you some details that I found after observing these four new released pictures for literally hours and hours. So please be aware, there's gonna be some heavy, heavy spoilers in this video. I mean, I'm gonna show you some of the leaked photos, so please don't blame me for ruining your experience. Now just a formal disclaimer, I didn't leak any of the photos that you're gonna see in this video. It's all over Twitter, I'm just gonna talk about it. But first, I'll take exactly six seconds to thank Castify for sponsoring today's video. I was super excited to try their phone cases and they did not disappoint. What makes them different from any generic phone case found on Amazon is they're engineered with two-layer Castify's trademarked impact-absorbing material sheet tech, meaning they're super durable. In fact, their impact cases can withstand a drop from 6.6 .6 feet and their ultra-impact case will survive a 9.8 feet drop. I've owned many phone cases that didn't protect my phone during a drop, so I had to put this to the test. Here's my phone before I drop it. And as you can see, there's absolutely no damage to my phone or the case. My favorite thing about Castify is they're made from 65% recycled and plant-based materials and shipped in 100% compostable packaging. And their antimicrobial coating eliminates 99% of bacteria. There are tons of customization options. And I personally love this custom case because I know that no one else has it. And it reflects my personality. With Apple releasing their new iPhone this month, I've got some cases for myself. They also make a great gift idea for friends or family. Right now, Castify is offering my subscribers a great deal. Go to castify.com slash CanadianLand to get 15% off. Alright, so first things first, let's talk about this specific report that essentially confirms Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield, and Willem Dafoe's appearance in Spider-Man No Way Home. As you can see in this leaked photo, it's the same Tobey Maguire's costume from Sam Raimi's universe. Um, take a look at this gentleman at the back. He's wearing a mask. So we can make out that whenever this picture was taken, it has to be after the pandemic. Now let's go back to Captain America Civil War, where Spider-Man appeared in the MCU for the first time. In this behind the scenes photo from 2016, we can see Ryan Minerding, who is Marvel Studios' head of visual development, was working on Tom Holland's old Spider-Man suit. But notice the mirrors in the background, or the entire room. And now take a look at the room where they were testing Toby's suit. It's probably the exact same place. And as I told you, the face mask gives it all away. Because no way in 2002, you'd be wearing a facial mask indoors. Now as far as who's inside the suit is concerned, I'd reckon it's probably Tobey Maguire. Because back in December 2020, Tobey Maguire was spotted at a costume fitting, and nobody till this day knows why. But I guess now we do, so there we go. This basically confirms Tobey Maguire will appear in No Way Home. Um, I, I guess I didn't need to explain all this because Marvel Studios spoilers subreddit just posted a verified scoop that confirms Tobey, Andrew, and Willem Dafoe will appear in No Way Home. The scoop says, and I quote, Tobey's costume is basically the same as it was in the original trilogy. We were able to see it being worn as well as hanging next to Tom and Andrew's suits. The colors look a bit more vibrant, but it could just be the lighting. Then it says, Andrew's costume is basically the same as it was in The Amazing Spider-Man 2. We were only able to see it hanging next to the other suits, but we can confirm it matches the costume in the leaked video of Andrew. And then the scoop talks about Green Goblin. Green Goblin's costume is a Raimi suit with an updated design. It's somewhat damaged and patchy, and a few minor adjustments have been made. It has a comic accurate tan colored shoulder strap and belt with a bomb bag, some gold colored accessories on his legs, and some scattered purple accessories like cloth wrapped around his arm. It continues to add more details about his suit. For example, the black goggles, which apparently Green Goblin will borrow from Dr. Octopus in the movie. And that's why Doc Ock's glasses don't match with the Raimiverse. So there we go. This verified scoop does nothing but confirms that Spider-Man No Way Home is indeed a Spider-Verse film. To be honest, I'm kind of surprised Sony isn't taking down any of the leaks, which is why I decided to make this video in the first place. I'm not trying to get anybody sued here, but it's still up there, so I guess Sony is okay with it. I mean, what's the point of me making a video where I just read an article and give you no visuals. So you know what I mean. Now for more Spider-Man updates, you should definitely keep an eye on Cosmic Wonder and heavy spoilers. And if you're on Instagram, you may want to follow Spidey Canada and Spider-Verse Proof for any sort of Spider-Man related news. I'm not getting paid to promote them, trust me, they really know what they're doing. And you already know my friend Cosmic Wonder, who's now my go-to source for any Spider-Man news. Now let me show you something that I'm good at. So take a look at the tentacles of Dr. Octopus. It has a lot of red, isn't it? And Dr. Octopus from the Raimiverse had different arms than this. It was completely gray with just the core being red. But in No Way Home, his tentacles have a yellow and gray tone to it, while the edges of his arms are red as well. But notice in the first trailer, the arms were still gray. So I think if some plot leaks are true, at some point in the movie, Doc Ock makes an upgrade to his suit which makes his arms red. Because don't forget he's a genius to begin with. So when a character of his caliber gets sucked into the current MCU, which is so much more evolved with technology, it wouldn't be surprising if he makes 
makes one or two changes to his suit. However, it's also possible that the grey arms we saw in the trailer have now been changed to red, because VFX changes keep happening even two weeks before release. And notice Doc Ock is looking upwards here, and behind him we can already see a car webbed to the bridge. So here's what I think is happening in this scene. Peter or Peters is fighting Green Goblin on the bridge. Goblin is throwing and blasting cars of the bridge left and right, and Peter is having to web them up to ensure their safe landing. And at that point, Doc Ock shows up, and he emerges to the bridge from the ground, which is what we've seen in the trailer. Now let's focus on this picture. This does look like a screenshot taken off of a video, in it. I mean, notice the motion blur on Peter's leg. If it was a still image, it wouldn't have looked like this. Anyway, a lot of people are speculating that this could be Toby's Peter here and not Tom Holland's. Well, although it could be true, but CGIing an entire image for a magazine sounds really expensive to be honest, even though the movie is being made by two of the biggest studios in the world. And notice the way Doc Ock is attacking Peter here. He has one of his tentacles preventing Peter from moving his head, another one wrapped around him preventing him from using his webs. But notice this particular arm over here. It looks like it is trying to dismantle Peter's iron spider suit. I mean, why else would it be attacking the chest specifically? Because we all know what happened in Spider-Man Homecoming. Activating reconnaissance drone. Whoa. Tony literally attached a drone to Spidey's chest, so the Iron Spider suit, which is even more advanced, may have something in it that's a weapon in plain sight. So perhaps this arm of Doc Ock is trying to prevent Peter from using it. Now one last leak from the movie says at one point Tom's Peter will don the Cloak of Levitation, and we've seen in What If already just how awesome Peter looks in that outfit. So I hope this report is true, and this is probably why Doctor Strange doesn't have his cape here. But Peter doesn't have one either, so I guess we'd have to wait to find out. And that's it. This would be my breakdown of all the recent leaks and the photos officially released by Sony. Um, please give me a thumbs up if you think you didn't waste your time watching this video. Grab the subscribe button and turn notifications on. I'm trying to be more active on Twitter and Instagram lately, so you can follow me there if you want to talk to me personally. Till then, I'll see you lads in the next one. Who the hell are you, Matt? I am Venom. Oh, I'm just kidding. It's Dr. Michael Morbius at your service. Can you see my face? No. Not at all, so I can smile. Yeah, yeah, you can smile. Okay. It's been an honor. <laughs> you can't, your whole body is moving. <laughs> Why me? Because I want you to stop by that Chinese West Indian place, Wings and Tings, and pick us up some food before you come back. Now take it.